I know he plays Duck Hunt Dog and look Duck Hunt in singles, and I think he plays Shulk. Maybe no? Okay, never mind. He plays uh, Jigglypuff apparently, and then we also have I think it's with Mark on Roy versus Miguel on Cloud and M on Shulk. Yeah. So uh, M and Miguel are pretty much the number one doubles team in Stockholm. Uh, they've teamed a lot for different tournaments lately, and they've performed very well. So it's yeah, going to definitely be interesting to see how with Mark and Love and Tolerance perform. I know they like doubles, and I believe they're brothers as well, so they probably play with each other a lot. So they I've, I've never seen them. I've never seen any of these teams play actually. Yeah. So this would be very interesting. There's okay. Well, first stock going to with Mark and Love and Tolerance. Yeah. Actually. I think it's interesting. In fact, I, I know Vitmark, at least I know he played Warrior versus Mean Singles, and I know about it, so like, Love and Tolerance plays Duck and Duo. It's very interesting for me to see the two characters that are really just not any of the ones I know they play. <laughs> but that yeah. definitely, Puff is definitely a very solid doubles character. Like, for sure. Yeah, I mean, she's. I mean, she can easily save someone who's off stage. Yeah, about right now. Mm, yeah, right now. Something. But well, on the other hand, well. Puff will die so easily. Yeah, that's definitely a full possibility here. Oof, that was almost... Oh, the shield break. Oh, the shield break, and that's just an easy up smash, and that's the yeah. stock. So far, mm, decently in blue team's favor. Yeah. But I wouldn't call this impossible. Ooh, there's the third stock taken from green team. Blue team taking a com bit of a commanding lead here. Do you All think right. blue team, or oh, sorry, green team will be looking for a rest setup to mm. even out the game? Right now, I guess the only one. Like, right now, I guess if they could somehow get it, so pretty much like Vitmark could throw like a Shulk to Love Intolerance. Yeah, I uh, with think enough percent, it would yeah, be worth it. But I need don't. Need some more percentage. Yeah, yeah I'm unsure. That would sure, be like, amazing yeah. if they made it, though. Yeah, it could also be worth it if they did the same thing with with uh, Miguel's cloud. But the, oh, there we go. There it is. The back buster, throw uh, buster back throw to. Oh, and they're the upper uh, from the finishing Miguel. touch. Is a very solid oh, confirm because like Buster reduces the knockback, so they can have more of a guaranteed time just knowing how the spacing is, and they, you know, like he doesn't have to. Be far away, or he can literally like stand behind, like behind him. He just does the back throw with Buster, and that's a free finishing touch. Yeah. That's one of the like scary things with this team is Shulk actually has a lot of setups into finishing touch, especially when he uses Buster. Like oh, the setup right. just increased tremendously because of a low knockback. I remember M telling me like one time they did like Shulk's jab, com like uh, like dial or whatever you want to call it, like just the jab the jab combo. Into a finishing touch. Wow. Just because they had Buster, it worked tremendously. Wow, that's so, yeah. Wow. Like that's just one of the like different setups that get like available just because you're using Buster. That finishing touch will kill at 60. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. At the ground. Yeah, no, so ground yeah. would kill most characters like 40 or 50. Isn't it so? Yeah. Yeah, like 60 is more when they're in the air. Like grounded finishing touch is still pretty stupid. Yeah. Like the only <laughs> nerf air version. Like that's <laughs> important to remember. Yeah, so yeah, it's dumb. I, w I play Cloud a lot, yeah. so I once killed uh, Toon Link at 34 with finishing touch. Jesus! <laughs> I Jesus. had like 180% rage, but still, 34% yeah. into yeah. stock could have been worse. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> people die t zero in this game sometimes, so like, yeah, whatever. that's true. Rage, knockback amplification from sharding smash attacks, a lot of things can cause a lot of silly things to happen <laughs> in this game. Or in all Smash games, really. All of them are silly in some way. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, and you seem to have a, seem to be having a good time up there. You're smiling, having a good time just probably discussing stuff. So now, let's see what the stage pick is. It is a very the solid. Oh, no character, but we're going to Dreamland. So it's pretty standard. It's preferred triple flat layout. Same as yeah, they play on Battlefield last. So same layout, just a bit different with how high they are and such, and it's also slanted and, su and such, but yeah, this is going to be interesting if they can utilize the more specific, like more Dreamland specific stuff better when they do the battlefield. Yeah, Dreamland has a really low ceiling, right? I uh, no, I think it's just that, I don't think it's low, it's just that the flat top flat is like closer. Oh, okay, maybe that's I think it. it's like something like that, but in actuality, like, it's not actually much lower, okay. if at all. But I do also know that this is, um, I'm fairly certain it still is Miguel's f favorite stage, especially in doubles. I know this because I used to be a teammate with Miguel, pretty much before M got into the scene. 
But the, back then, Miguel also played Rob. So uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a history lesson. But then, when Cloud came out, uh, he kind of just started like oh. transitioning gradually and such. Especially considering the fact that Cloud is a very strong doubles character. And Miguel is a huge fan of doubles in general. He just kind of started using Cloud because Cloud works very well in doubles. Yeah, Cloud is so good in doubles. I mean, you can get the finishing touch and setups that. It's so like not, but it's not percent. even just finishing touch setups. No, he I just know. covers uh, areas so yeah, well with that. That Buster Sword is ridiculous. Yeah. Ooh, that's. Oh, yeah. That's an early Gimp on Shulk. That's and considerably. That. Oh, oh, wait, is this the Gimp? Is this. Oh! Yeah, no, he got the limit. No, oh, not quite. Yeah, he got a limit. so bad for Blue Team. But yeah, that could have led to, like, disastrous results for Blue Team. Yeah, Green Team is still in a bit of a lead here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're keeping it up. Alright, here's the throw. Green Team oh, actually might do this. Okay, there's the back air. Smash back air is pretty darn strong. Oh. oh, there's a dash attack on the cloud. They have him off stage. The Slum Caller's gonna get it. Not, oh, he, no. oh, oh good that's down there for Yeah, unfortunate for the green team there. Yeah. A very good awareness from Blue. Alright. That's rough for green team. Oh, had he done that in the other direction? I don't oh. Think oh. oh, that could have been it, actually. But they have him oh, up there. Yeah. That's rest in peace, Roy. Uh, yeah, no, no, Blue team, yes. Takes it entirely. It's now it's their game again. They definitely put Green Team definitely put up a good fight at the beginning of this, but now Blue Team has just found their foot and footing. Yeah, I mean it now, could work. Oh, and there ne it never is. mind. I, yeah. <laughs> never mind. They have us. They have a finishing touch setups pretty much down yeah. to a T by now. We've done this so much by now. Though. All right. Yeah, I'm getting my money back because I didn't get to enter doubles because. Uh, the TOs forgot to add me because I had to, like, I was paying for my teammate as well, and I had to do it on the spot. So they were gonna, like, sign.